Okay, so we're definitely going back to the vector product now um, after a brief hiatus. Uh, in this uh, video, we're going to explore uh, finding the distance between the parallel lines, so L1 and L2 here. So first thing I'm going to do is draw a diagram. So I'm going to visualize what's going on. So here are my somewhat parallel lines. Okay, so let's call this one L1 and this L2. And let's say, um, because I need to find, effectively, the job is this. I need to find that length, okay? Knowing that that line will make a right angle with both L1 and L2. So it's going to be perpendicular to both. So let's call this uh, D, this distance D. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to say, okay, well, for this, I'm going to need some point on L2, um, let's say that that is the point R, and for the point R, I'm just going to choose a point that's on the line, so 2, 1, 1. I'll take mu as 0, so that's going to be 2, 1, 1. And I'm also going to choose a point on L1, so let's say it's down here, and I'm going to call this one uh, A, and I'm going to choose it where lambda zero, so three zero two. And I'm going to consider a r. Now you might be able to see where this is going because if I've got a r, I can work out its length. Uh, I know the direction of l one because that will be one minus three minus two. OK, so I know it's going in that direction and I can talk about this angle here. So this is looking very similar to finding the shortest distance between a point and a line, uh, which we were looking at a few videos back. Because what we can say then is that sine of the angle is equal to the opposite, D, over the hypotenuse, which is the length of AR. So D is equal to the length of AR times sine of the angle. We can also say, OK, well, um, the vector product then of the direction vector of L1 and AR, so the vector product of 1 minus 3 minus 2, crossed with AR, so the length of that has got to be equal to the length of 1 minus 3 minus 2 times the length of AR times sine of the angle. And of course, that is precisely what I've got here, so that's D. So I can then say that D must be equal to that divided by that. OK, so what I really want is to work out what AR is. So up here, I'll write AR is equal to OR minus OA. So 2 take away 3, so minus 1. 1 take away 0 is 1. 1 take away 2 is minus 1. So there's AR. So we've got the length of the vector product of 1 minus 3 minus 2 and uh, minus 1, 1 minus 1 divided by the length of this vector here. So I'm going to need to work out this vector product. So I, J, K, uh, 1 minus 3 minus 2 minus 1, 1 minus 1. OK, so we've got um, 3 plus 2, so 5i. Uh, then we've got minus, well, let's do on the calculator so I can avoid making any silly errors here. Um, minus 1, take away 2, so plus 3j, 
Um, and then one takeaway three, so minus two K. Okay, right. So this is going to be equal to the length of this vector. So five squared plus three squared uh, plus two squared. So root 38 divided by the length of that vector. So one plus nine plus four. So root 14. which is root 133 over 7, which is 1.65 to three significant figures. Okay, so effectively, I'm going, doing a very similar calculation, if not the same calculation, really, as I did between a point and a line. Okay, so uh, we'll see if we can derive a general result in the next video.